for a lookbook, I decided to make one of those mix and match flip books that I used to play with as a kid where you match different outfits to a head and here I am folding the pages and putting the book together. This is what the layout looks like on Adobe InDesign on my computer. I think it's so cute having models like little dolls and seeing a garment on multiple bodies. <sighs> Time passes by so quickly whenever I work at school. I've literally been on my iPad and laptop for the past six hours. So I decided to come out and take a break. I was gonna go do a McDonald's run because I just feel like it McDonald's is the go-to late night food. It's like my comfort food. But then I decided that I should not. I should be healthier. And so I found this Chinese restaurant nearby. I'm so excited. I already see that there are soup dumplings inside. I cannot wait until the end of the semester and for summer to start. I'm planning on taking a solo trip to somewhere tropical and just living my days out as a beach bum. I really want nothing more than to just lounge on the beach, sipping beverages, not a care in the world, not a thought in my head. This is my pile of posters. I really like this shot. This is the room I'm gonna be in later for class, so I'll probably have these up on the walls there later. New York City, known for being incredibly fast-paced, it is a city that never sleeps. Things are designed to be as fast as possible, and it seems that everyone is always in a rush. Maximum speed, maximum efficiency, you want things done yesterday. But I want you to stop and think why and at what cost. The price of speed is the lack of quality behind our items and a decline in care for the little things. Focusing on the process rather than the result. Being slow and intentional. Intentionally being slow. Love behind every stitch. Importance placed upon every detail. 
every little detail. Each small step. Matters. 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 I just picked up some clear tubing for my bag handles. I am putting the finishing touches onto my bag. Here I am gluing the piping around the edges of my bag and then using the tubing that I got earlier as a handle. I really like the way the bag turned out and it's probably my favorite thing that I've made this semester. I don't wish to 